Hey, what's up YouTube? Jason here with Bite My Bits and welcome to another possibly completely pointless video. Kind of like my whole shucking thing. Okay, so in today's video, I am basically swapping a parody drive in Unraid. I know that is completely exciting, but I kind of geek out on this sort of stuff. So I find it interesting. Sometimes I like to watch other people do it. So hopefully you will somewhat enjoy it. But this video actually serves two purposes. One of which being mindless entertainment showing me just doing geeky stuff. Two, a kind of a PSA. And that public service announcement is, if you have a bunch of hard drives, you should mark which ones go in what slot. That's a good thing to do. Something I ignored, and now I thoroughly regret it. Because I have a poor memory, and I should have saw this coming. But I didn't do anything about it. So what am I talking about? Okay, so if you guys have not seen the previous video, I actually shucked three of these 10 terabyte Western digital drives from the external 3.0, USB 3.0 enclosures that they came from. And I paid a total of $179.99 each, plus tax, of course, from my local Best Buy. Cleared out the shelf, just took them all, everything they had. And in my Unraid server right now, I have two parity drives, both of which are eight terabytes, giving me a total maximum single hard drive capacity of eight terabytes. If you don't know what that means, that basically means that any of my other hard drives in that server can only be eight terabytes because the parity only gives it a capacity of eight terabytes. So if I were to take that 10 terabyte drive, throw it in one of my regular hard drive spots, their parity drive wouldn't be big enough to accommodate that entire drive. So I would essentially only get eight out of 10 of those terabytes. So in order to make these hard drives work, I am going to be replacing both of my eight terabyte of parity hard drives with the 10 terabyte, essentially allowing me from here on out to utilize hard drives up to 10 terabytes in size to expand my Unraid server. So it is kind of a win for future me, but for current me, I don't get the full 20 terabytes of hard drive space that I'm literally putting into my server right now. Instead, I'm going to basically reutilize those eight terabyte drives that I currently have as my parity drives, and I'm only gonna gain 16 total terabytes of additional space. But that's okay, because I have a bunch of drives in there now, and who knows when these 10 terabyte drives are gonna come on sale, and I don't wanna be limited by my parity drive moving forward, at least up to 10 terabytes. My luck, Next year, they're gonna have like 14 terabyte drives on sale for $179.99. I'm gonna be like, damn it. But to that PSA, <laughs> I have a lot of hard drives. I don't know, like 20, 24, something like that. I don't know. I have a lot of hard drives in my system right now and I have not labeled them. I think I have a pretty good idea. I'm fairly certain that my parity drives are either the top left two slots or the top right two slots, but I don't actually know. So how do you swap a parity drive in Unraid? That is an actually pretty easy solution. It's just a matter of swapping it and letting the parity itself rebuild automatically. Assuming, of course, you know which drive to pull out. So let's overlay the Unraid screen, shall we? From this screen, you can see all of the hard drives that I have in my system. And at the top of the screen, you can see that I have two hard drives listed as my parity drives. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom here, I have the ability to stop the array. Now this is going to bring my array offline and allow me to make changes. Like for example, swapping out the parity drive. Now, some people might tell you that the proper way to do this is to shut down your server, remove said drives that you know you're going to replace and then start your server back up. But I just don't feel like doing it that way. I don't think I need to. We'll see. So on my array, it does take a little bit to get shut down, but once I do have it shut down, the hunt begins. So I think it is going to be this slot right here. I, I'm not 100% sure, but it's either both of these slots, like these top two, or both of these slots. So pretty much it's a guessing game. I'm just gonna yank this bad boy out and see if it goes dark on uh, Unraid. Yeah, what's the worst that can happen, right? Dum dum dum. And let's do a quick refresh here and let's see. Oh, look at that. Look at that parody missing. Boom. Just like that. Perfect. I guessed right. That means that this second drive, this one should be, because I remember I kept them both together. So this second one definitely should be the second parody. Probably. And some people might tell you that you need to put all four screws when you're putting these hard drives into service. But... I don't believe that. I think one screw holds it in just fine. And my point was proven 
when I just pulled it out because it was a little, a little tough to get pulled out. <laughs> Giggity. It was a little tough to get pulled out, but it held in place, of course, because, you know, it should. Perfect. And just shove it back in. Come on, little bastard. Come on, there we go. Nice and light. Come on. Come on. Come on. Should not be that difficult. Maybe I should put a little WD-40 on it. Damn. Why is this so difficult? Oh, that was a tight fit. A little surprising, honestly. And now they got that plenty of time to spin up. It should be just a matter of holding this camera still while I select 10 terabytes. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. Now that I have the 10 terabytes selected, I can go down here and all I have to do is click start. Hopefully. Mounting discuses, discuses, discs, discs, discuses, discs. Okay, so now it says cancel will stop parity sync slash data rebuild. And then right above that it says um, stopping the array is disabled because it is, because it is currently uh, doing a parity operation. And now that parity disk has a caution sign on it because it is resyncing all of that data. As far as the hard drives go, when it comes to parity rebuild, it is literally just reading every single hard drive that I have and it's building its whole parity thing based off the entire array. So all the drives right now are getting at it. And as simple as it is, that's pretty much it. Take the array down, swap out the hard drive, assign the new hard drive to the parity slot, start the array back up, and Unraid takes it from there. It goes through, it rebuilds the parity information that it needs, and you're up and running. Now right now it says parity sync percentage at 0.2%, so it's probably gonna take a while to rebuild all of that parity information. And for the keen observers of you, or those who can count past one, you can probably notice that I only swapped one parity drive tonight. That's on purpose because I want to make sure that the parity gets rebuilt correctly before I swap out the second parity. I feel like if I swap both out, it might maybe have an issue, and then if it does have an issue, I'll lose the parity from the second one, and right now I'm kind of playing a safer bet by only swapping one at a time. Yes, it will take longer to do so, but still, it's going to be a safer bet for me. And honestly, I'm not really in a hurry, you know, to get that extra hard drive space because I still have plenty of room available as it is. But of course, once I get the second parity drive swapped over, the parity rebuild goes as expected. I don't run into any errors. I can take those other eight terabyte hard drives, put them in empty slots in my server, which now that I look at it, I only have two empty slots. So that's interesting. I'm running out of space. I'm going to actually have to start upgrading the four terabyte drives that I have in there to larger capacity drives. I didn't, I didn't see that coming. At least, I mean, I knew it would come one day, but I just did not see a, a day where I would have so many hard drives that I would have to upgrade the capacity of it because Zeus has so many available slots. I just, I don't know. I mean, I knew it was coming. But I just didn't think it was coming so fast. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed this short and possibly even another pointless video. Like I said, I just like to nerd out on random things and this is all interesting to me, so hopefully you find it interesting too. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the process, I will try to help you out if you post them in the comments down below. Just keep in mind that I don't always do the most internet approved thing that you're supposed to do. But hey, thank you for watching, like and subscribe below and have yourself a good night.